Hey guys, Ron Link here with the promised tutorial video on how to do the Mario objects uh, like you see in the background. Um, so let's open up Cinema and you can see I have the old project loaded up. You can see the coin, the brick block, question cube and the star. So to do this we open a new project. Let's turn the cam camera sideways. And let's start with a star. Start with a disk. Turn it 90 degrees to the side. Hold shift so it uh, can make uh, nice and easy steps. Press the disk. Make it uh, 10 rotation segments and one disk segment. Uh, looking good so far. Press middle mouse button and middle mouse button on this side again. Turn on point of view and make it editable. You can do it uh, by right clicking and pressing this or just pressing C on your keyboard. Now you need to make the points. You can uh, hold shift for this, so it can uh, make it uh, go straight to the point where you want it. And this can be a little bit tricky, and you actually really need to do this, do this in a side view. I will show you in a second why. And it can be tricky to ma match all the locations of the segments. But uh, I think this one looks pretty good. So let's head back to the to the 3D view, and I'll show you why I need to do it in a 2D view. Because uh, when you move this right now, um, it can really f your star up like um, this. As you can see, it's not flat anymore, and we really need to keep it flat. So, we have a basic star right now, and uh, what we do now is clicking on the middle one and moving it up just a little bit. And you really need to play with some settings to make it uh, just like you want it. I like it uh, a bit like this, I think. Not too much. And we press the disk, Ctrl C, Ctrl V to duplicate it. Uh, take the rotation tool and rotate it 180 degrees to the side. Press the second disk and move it back. And again, go to your side view because uh, it can be, again, pretty hard to make it uh, perfectly aligned. So as you can see this one is around the middle and this is over half of the block. So let's move it to here I guess. Maybe a little bit further. Well looking uh, good enough. And as you can see we have a perfect 3D star right now. Everything's fine. Now we need to apply a new material. So double click or press file new material. I like double clicking because it's faster. Double click the material, go to color and make a nice yellow slash orangey color. Maybe a little bit yellow. Yep, like this. Apply it to the disk. And as you can see, we have a yellow star. Now for the flexion, make it about 15. And make a glow effect. Like this. Um, for the glow settings, you really need to play with the settings to get the desired effect. Because uh, right now you see the star uh, star points at the end and you don't want it uh, like this so turn radius up a bit 
uh, maybe the uh, inner slash other strength. Like I said, uh, really play with the settings. Make it uh, something that you like. Um, let's add a floor quickly. Makes it a little bit better. And uh, no material for now. All right. Next part is the eyes. And for this, uh, I used a capsule. Uh, move it up a bit and make it a lot smaller. A little bit like this, I think. Move it no, a bit smaller. This should do. Alright, go to the settings of the capsule and make it less rotational and less in height because we really don't actually need all those uh, extra polygons, I, I think. And uh, I think it should be a little bit smaller. So make it this and move it back. Uh, now rotate it a bit so it uh, aligns a bit like stars rotated or shifted to the back. So right now we got something like this. Personally I think uh, it should go inwards a bit more. Something like this I believe really need to play uh, with some settings. Um, duplicate it by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V and move it to the other side and as you can see we have a almost perfectly looking Mario star. But when we render it it's not just fine right now. The eyes are white and to fix this make a new material. Go to color Make it black, because it has black eyes. Uh, reflect it uh, a little bit, like 15% again. Go to glow, this one is important. Uh, I can show it in a second. Apply it to the capsule. Turn glow off and render it. You'll get the white effect again. Turn glow on and it turns black. Now again uh, just play with some settings and uh, you'll get a fine um, comparison or uh, well um, can't find the word but you need to play with the uh, yellow glow and the black glow until you find something that uh, fits uh, what you're looking for. Uh, for now let's make uh, uh, the floor texture I used. So go uh, to a new material, color, press the uh, arrow on the, the texture and go to marble. I believe uh, the settings are already good right, th uh, right now. Uh, I think go to re um, reflection, texture, effect and... Let me see for a minute. Not sure what uh, I used. I think it was spectral. Yeah, it uh, definitely was spectral. Keep it like this for now. Render it. Oh wait. Need to apply it uh, to the floor first. Apply. And render it. Let's see how it looks. Almost like uh, the floor I used. Let's see uh, what settings it has. Um, yeah, reflection was uh, a bit lower. I think around 65 and the color was around 75. Let's run it again. Let's see reflection.
Hmm, there's no reflection right now. Let's uh, check the uh, other scene. Let's see uh, what settings I used. Reflection 40% and color on 78. Alright, let's uh, apply this, that one uh, to it. Reflection on 40. Turn off specular by the way and color on around 80%. Trend it and we get this for now. So let, uh, let's add a light and uh, I like the light to be just in front of the star so that uh, the star actually glows. Also and, uh, the reflection a bit more. Ah, I see. Um, for now, move the floor down, move the light down, select the first one, hold shift, select the last part of the star, press Alt G, and you'll combine them into a null object. Um, change the name to star, so it is, it's easier to uh, find the right object and move it down a bit. Now render again and there we go. A bit more like uh, how I made the video. Um, let's uh, change some settings uh, first by the way. Um, this one is fine. Best animation 1 to 2 on Aliasing and this one should go to 6, 6 and 3. Learners turned off so it uh, renders a bit faster. You can find uh, many tutorials on the internet to make cinema a bit faster. Um, but for now uh, I like to do it uh, just quickly. Makes it a bit faster with, with the settings I just used. So there we go. Uh, pretty simple glow effect and a star. So heading to the next part, which is a cube for the break block and the question cube. So shrink it a bit and make a new material. Uh, for this I used uh, textures from Google. You can find it by searching for question cube, uh, question block, Mario or Mario brick block. For now we go for the question cube, apply it and move it to the cube. Uh, needs another light. Uh, move this one more to the front, a bit higher, and add a shadow area. And let's render it again. Okay, the star has a weird round shadow, most likely because of the glow. I don't know why that's happening. So let's turn accuracy a bit up and uh, the samples up. May uh, make the render a bit slower. Still the same effect. So perhaps we need to uh, adjust this uh, light to the back a bit. Still the weird um, shadow on the ground. I'm not sure where it came from. Let's uh, turn this one to uh, Shadow Map Soft. It's a uh, faster render. Not sure. I think Cinema still thinks the star is a uh, uh, round object. Not sure why it uh, does like this. Or you could you could uh, work without shadows. Doesn't really matter at this point. And it still does the same. That's weird. So, uh, looks like it's just from that angle. Anyways, um, next part. 
the cube, you apply the texture, make it reflect just a bit, maybe uh, 6% or something, turn off specular and render. Um, perhaps turn the reflection up to 10. Still no reflection. 15 perhaps. Alright, um, let's move the texture. Close star. Um, offset it to minus. And also for the vertical alignment and stretch it out. So we'll get this kind of shape. You'll just uh, need to play uh, with the settings again until you get something that fits. Something like uh, this I think. So uh, let's render it, see how it looks, and you get this effect, which looks uh, pretty good, except for the reflection, which should go up a lot more, I think, and it's still not reflecting. That's weird. I have uh, some troubles, apparently, with uh, some settings not doing uh, what I want but uh, it doesn't matter that much I think uh, my video didn't add lots of reflection either oh well, it's uh, starting to reflect a bit so uh, let's just uh, move, it up, move uh, it up just more too much so we finally get that reflection that matters yeah, something like this uh, should do. Should turn out uh, pretty cool uh, when uh, rendering. All right, uh, now duplicate the cube. Moved to the side. And make a new material. And apply the brick texture. Move to the second cube, and apparently I I place it uh, under reflection. So uh, don't do that. Place it on the color. Um, turn off specular. Close down, and again align the texture with the object. I think it should go up way more like this. Because when you stretch it out, it uh, also moves back, like you see. And I know uh, it's not perfect, because the corners aren't uh, cut in the Mario games. But um, for now, it's about what I can do. I'm no, uh, absolutely no Cinema 4D Pro as of speaking. I uh, like to play with uh, stuff uh, for now and uh, working on a new intro. So anyways, uh, the first three objects are done and we need another object right now which is the coin and the coin is one of the harder parts and we start with a cylinder make the segments a little bit lower and turn the height down significantly somewhere around this should have a pretty uh, realistic coin thickness I think again rotate it 90 degrees and move it up above the cube
something like this so it can come out right in the middle and now the tricky part because uh, we need to cut the cube into the right um, sizes and places so take the cylinder press ctrl c ctrl v and again we need uh, three cylinders and make um, by the way delete one of the cylinders um, you need one for now you need to duplicate it later shrink it and move to the side so we have something like this so I need a few corners try not to uh, move to the side because now it's perfectly in the middle um, it's pretty nice by the way to you to do this in a uh, side view in case you shifted it you can press ctrl c ctrl z to uh, undo your steps but as you can see it's right in the center just like we want it so Move to 3D view again, take the uh, second cylinder, as you can see, it's uh, not the size like we want, so uh, ma let's make it a bit smaller, I believe it was this one, yep, about 3 centimeters should do, and move it inside of the round cylinder now make a pew or a bowl not sure how to pronounce it place the cylinder in the pew and place the other cylinder right under it uh, let's see like this so we press uh, place a big cylinder let's move it uh, big cylinder and round cut because it's uh, shaped like a circle and it cuts right in so we get uh, something like this now duplicate the round cut let's place it under the round cut this is important, cut right in, but it's not. And that's weird. So yeah, we have to font cut and we have the other cut in the back and we move the front cut into the buell and under it and the other one under this one but it's not doing what I want so what is it? Alright, uh, tried some things and for some reason the backside isn't working. So uh, let's uh, just move on for now and make a cube. Zoom out a bit so you can pick it up. Move to the side and resize it. It should be pretty small. and let's place it under it something like this I should do and a bit thinner like so I'll turn on fillet and subdivision lower. So we get a shape like this. 
go to uh, the site view again and align it so it, uh, it's just in the middle now for this you can be very very precise and zoom in all the way like so and as you can see when you zoom in a lot more it's still not in the middle so you can be very precise it's uh, certainly not necessary but uh, if you want you can be uh, this precise so it fits go back to a 3d view and move it to the side so that fits right in and for this I uh, wanted it to be just sticking out on the corner something like this now uh, apply a new material so it uh, looks a bit better make it uh, a bit gold kind of gold uh, look make it reflect for about 50% apply it to all parts and you'll get something like this which is looking pretty good so far let's render it out uh, might be a bit too shiny so I'll turn the reflection down render it again alright uh, change the color by the way I think it's uh, a bit too dark maybe uh, more yellow like this and let's see how the backside looks as you can see I'm still having troubles with the backside and um, in my uh, video it's also it took a pretty long time before uh, I found the right uh, way to do it um, move the other one to the back as well place it inside it and place those inside the peel and move them down and now it should be still fine on the front but on the back, I have no idea why it's happening right now. So, uh, I'm sorry for that. I uh, might uh, explain in the description once I find out. Um, the cube is not in the right place, by the way. It should go um, right on the this one. Like so. But uh, yeah, the uh, backside isn't working. And I have no idea why that is happening. Perhaps with uh, another pure, you can always try a pure in a pure. It's like a pureception. Lamest joke. Um, let's try it. Place this one in a view. So we have a view with the circle in it. And still not working. So yeah, I have, I have no idea uh, why this is happening right now. And I uh, can't seem to fix it. And again, um, it's uh, it's really really weird. Uh, I'm very new uh, to the Buell uh, objects. Uh, for my intro, my new intro, uh, I'm making uh, I made a house with windows and stuff, and that's quite easy, you know. You place the walls in the Buell, place the windows in the Buell, and it's kind of done. But for now, the back is not working, so. Uh, 
think uh, that's it for now. For some reason, it's working right now. Alright, so <laughs> we got it. this part fixed. Both front and back sides. Can't believe uh, it actually happened. Weird. Uh, like I said, you gotta play with lots of settings. As you can see, I used two buels right now. Well, I managed to do it in only one buel, like I did previously. And it's working right here, after a few tries. And apparently, the backside is not working right now. So, like I said, it's very weird. I have no idea what's happening. And, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, trying uh, to fix it and apparently this time it is it did and uh, last time it didn't so uh, last part let's add uh, sky and render it out let's see how it looks so you get uh, the uh, idea it's pretty close to what I made in this one move to uh, this angle to render it. Uh, I have different options uh, selected for this one like global illumination and um, so yeah it looks a little bit different it's pretty hard also to duplicate what you made but uh, for now uh, it's pretty pretty close than expected to be uh, this close uh, honestly so what's left uh, camera movement the last part of what I uh, did so uh, make a camera check this box and record it place your camera where you want like this for example and press the uh, key button move it to about 30 frames uh, I like to work in uh, 30 frames per second and uh, call 30 frames one second. So in case um, I want to fill this wall, uh, this whole thing up, I have 90 frames equals three seconds. So right now we have uh, two places, and we when we move it, you see it's moving, obviously. Now uh, move it to 60 frames. Place a camera around here somewhere and press the right mouse button so you can rotate it. It's a, a new thing I discovered recently and I uh, really like to uh, make uh, very, very lots of abuse of that future. Um, let's uh, Go to this side. So um, turn it the other way for now. And uh, let's see what we made. Oh, uh, I think. Oh no, wait. Well, yeah. It's uh, certainly not perfect, but again, with camera movement, we really need to. Um, play a lot with settings to uh, adjust it just like you want. It's uh, not easy, it takes a lot of time, but in the end you have uh, the movement you want, something like this uh, was more what I uh, pointed for. So anyways, uh, I guess that was it. Let me check if there's something left. You have the brick block, question cube, star coin, sky, the lights. So uh, we're done, and uh, I hope uh, this tutorial was uh, so uh, anything you are looking for. In case you like, please uh, click the like button, favorite, or subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in perhaps another tutorial. Ask and receive. See you next time.